Greetings, Divine Radiance. Welcome to your Tuesday Tips and Tools with me, Nikila Asha of Ashworth Scott Life Sculpting. I am a divine interpreter, psychic life coach, and mentor, assisting you with activating the divinity and wisdom within your soul. So today, for Tuesday Tips and Tools, I am being led by spirit to pull a card and deliver a message based on what comes up from the cards. So let's see what comes up. Whoa. And I was told to take them both. So we got Sher Char Charlotte, I believe that's how you say this. It says spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. And then we also got Sodalite, socialize or join in, make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. Okay, so the first thing I would like to talk to you about with this spiritual protection card, you know, um, we all know that there is so much going on in the world right now. And this topic has come up during Wednesday Live Empower Hour. Yesterday evening, I had a live Q&A with my mentorship group and went over some things that Spirit brought up just in regards to how it serves our highest good to react and be during this time, right? And so one of the things that I'd like you to understand, and this was a topic that came up for us last night, is that heaven and hell is a state of mind, right? Heaven and hell is a state of mind. You are in control of your reality. Now, this is not just a fact when things are going good or smooth or the world is in its normal state of being. This is a fact no matter what's going on around you. Now, with that being said, one of the things that I would like to say to you is, yes, this coronavirus, it is a real thing. Yes, people are reacting out of fear. Yes, they are buying up everything on the shelves. Yes, the world is filled with chaos and confusion and disarray. But take a moment, stop, slow down and breathe. And remember that you are in control of your reality and you are protected by the divine and your ability to Control your reality is not dependent on the outside world. That is dependent on your inner world. So what are you choosing? One of the things that came up in regard to the heaven and hell being a state of mind is you can be locked down in a prison cell, a prison cell in a third world country, third world country, and you can be in heaven right? And you can be the riches of the rich and have everything materialistically that the heart and mind and, and whatever can desire and be in hell. Heaven and hell is a state of mind. And last week during Wednesday Live and Power Hour, the Whitney song, um, Greatest Love of All, and the part where no matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity. And what I said was, I like to say they can't take away my divinity. No matter what, you are a divine being. You are the divine having a human experience. And your powers to create, your powers to be in control of your life doesn't begin and end with society. Now, it's important that we understand what's going on here underneath the surface stuff, right? The world is beginning to awaken at an alarming rate, right? The world is shifting. More people are being enlightened. More people are embracing their souls and living from that space of their divinity. More people are connecting with the divine and more people are being less controllable. So the state is, the state of of society is in a panic. The powers that be are attempting to control the vibrational frequency by creating mass hysteria and fear, right? Don't give in. Now protect yourself, yes, and understand that you are protected by the divine. Like yesterday, I bought a 27 pound bag of rice and dry beans, why? Because the reality of it is, the world as a whole, as a large, is in a panic state. And so it's not to say don't prepare, don't protect, but it's to say don't do so in fear, right? Don't do so in fear. Now, we got the sodalite, socialize or join in, make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. So here's the thing, the morale of some of the people in our Activating You mentorship was a little bit low. And so by us connecting for our live Q and A's and for, by us connecting for our group sessions and just connecting deeply in the group setting, 
you know, it's able to, it's empowered us to bring the morale up. So whether you are, you know, in your home quarantine, whether it's by choice or whether it's by force, it's important for you to surround yourself with like-minded, like-spirited individuals so that you are able to stay on top of your own energy, right? So you're able to be in control of your own energy and turn off the news, tune it out, tune it out. That is the biggest form of hypnosis known to man is the media. So turn it off, tune out, be in your own sacred space, meditate daily, pray, allow yourself to connect to others that are on the same vibrational frequency or at least very similar, those that are not feeding the fear, those that are not buying into the mass hysteria, right? Now, I've shared this before. My children and I, we've always had rules of our home. And one of those rules or a few of those rules are we come in, we take our shoes off. We wash our hands before we do anything. Me personally, I take my clothes off, you know, and I put on a robe or something else that's loungewear, right? But the things that we do, you know, opening the door with the paper towel or with our sleeves, you know, um, washing our hands when we're out and about and using a paper towel to turn the water off, you know, not touching the toilet handle, just different things that we've done from day one. These are things that are just good practice to keep germs away, period. Do the things that you must to stay safe and healthy, but do so without the fear. And I'd like to personally invite you to join me in the Activating You group mentorship or even the one-on-one -on -one mentorship. If you're someone that's seeking that elevation of raising your vibration, if you feel like this whole hoopla is getting to you and it's a bit difficult to stay positive, join us so that we can hold space and provide you with that support that you're desiring so that you can keep your vibe high. If you don't remember anything else, remember this. Again, heaven and hell is a state of mind. It's a state of mind. So stay in control of your vibration, your energy, and your mind, right? Allow yourself to be in heaven no matter what. If you're interested in connecting and joining me in the Activating You mentorship, whether it's the one-on-one -on -one or the group, I'd like you to go ahead and click the link in the description box. And what I'll most likely do is also share it in the comments and schedule a consultation and be sure to use code READY, R-E-A-D-Y, all caps, R-E-A-D-Y, and that will reduce your investment amount to $20.20. And let's connect for this consultation and see how I can serve you. It's time. It's time. Don't allow the media, don't allow the powers that be to control you, your destiny, or your vibration. You've got this. You've got this. And I've got you. So I thank you so much for allowing me to serve you. I thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know what your thoughts are on everything. And give the video a thumbs up if it resonated in any way. I thank you so much, and I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I'll talk to you soon.